This book, The Easy Interval Method by Klaas Lock, is my favourite running book and it's, it's influenced my running training so much. So I wanted to do a review about it and to explain what I've got out of it, how I've used it in my training and how I think it can be really helpful for most people in their running training. It's quite a different approach to the traditional running training that most people do. So I just want to go through it and explain it and why I think it's so good and why it's definitely my favourite running book. So a quick bit about me, if you don't know, my name's Patrick Martin and in April of this year I ran the London Marathon in 2 hours, 24 minutes and 31 seconds. I was 42 years old at the time and I'd only been running for 3.5 years. Uh, on this channel I share my tips for running faster and you can follow my training as I'm trying to run a 220 marathon next. So the basis of this book, which I found really interesting, is it says that too many runners run lots of one pace mileage, lots of slow mileage all the time, and it trains them to run slow. And then they might run 10 or 20% of their the rest of their mileage at very fast paces, which then increases their injury risk it wears them out, they don't have enough time to recover. So what Klaas Locke's suggestion in the book is, is to run lots of fast interval sessions, but at an aerobic pace. So not at all out fast pace where you're really tiring your body out, but at an aerobic faster pace than you would run easy runs. Something like maybe a steady pace, which I've talked about in other videos, which is similar to running your faster paces but it's not as detrimental to your body and it's not as tiring on your body and it's not as not creating as much risk of injury on your body and it's getting your body used to running faster and what it also does is allows you to run more quality mileage than you otherwise would the the basis of this book is if you're running lots of slower pace mileage one pace all the time you're not running that such high quality of mileage if you run a bit faster at a sort of a high aerobic level under your threshold level but at fast pace you are running much higher quality mileage and you can actually run less volume of mileage because you're running higher quality of mileage by doing this kind of running you're activating your fast twitch muscle fibers a lot more instead of running a slower more ploddy pace you're enabling your body to get used to running faster paces more, but having less impact on your body. You know, when you run slow for long periods of time, you're really beating your body down and you're really getting tired. And I think over time, this, this book suggests that over time, you're beating your body down and grinding your body down and it just becomes more and more tired. Whereas if you run faster paces, but not too fast, you're going to run far better quality, it's going to get you fitter quicker and you're going to be able to run faster paces in races. Now I think this strategy is really good if you've got like less time in your life and you're just not able to run the kind of mileage that I was doing, the 100 mile weeks that I've talked about in the past, but you want to run more quality sessions, you want to get more out of your running and in many ways if you enjoy running faster more often. I think this is the stress you would really work well for you because let's say you're running six times 1k or 13 times 400 meters, you're running faster in each of those intervals and you might just find that more enjoyable than going out for a long hour long run, hour long run and just running at the same pace. So the, the author in this book, Klaas Lock, also su suggests that when you go out and do run long runs, that you add surges, what he calls surges into the runs, where it's like a minute of fast paced running mixed in with the, the slower paced running that you're doing so that you're getting your muscles and your body to be more reactive so that you're not just running the same pace all the time and your body just gets used to running that faster pace a bit more, like adding a, a minute surge in every now and again. He read the book and he goes into a lot more detail um, that I'm going to do in this video and it's really worthwhile looking into it and getting the book I think. I've put a link in the description to the book. You know, the, the methods turned him from what he calls a 
a regional also ran to a national champion. Klaas Lok, using this method, won 24 Dutch national championships and over various distances and got two national records and amongst other amazing times ran a 10k in 28 minutes and 24 seconds which is really impressive. So if that method, if the method works so well for him I think it can work well for a lot of people and I've used parts of it in my training and there's actually in the book there's actually a lot of success stories from other people who've used the method as well and have achieved some really good times from, from doing it. For me I've used it parts of it in my training i haven't followed it to the exact method but i've taken up bits that i think work really well and would work really well for me like for example i run a lot of steady pace running and in the steady pace running i run it's almost, it's almost like a higher level aerobic pace um, where it's not over the threshold but it's still aerobic and not anaerobic and i do that a lot and in my long runs i've always included surges so i'd surge for a minute, sometimes two minutes, at faster pace than the the pace I was running at, just to add that reactivity into my into my running. And I think if you've seen my videos in the past, I don't run as many speed sessions as other runners who run so sort of similar sort of times I ran in the marathon. I, I run very few speed sessions. In in this book, Klaus Lock does say that he runs generally to keep his anaerobic fitness at a good level. He'll run. He, he used to run one race a week or one anaerobic training session a week and he would say that he needed a week to recover from an anaerobic training session from a hard session a lot of the runners nowadays run two hard sessions a week and that doesn't give you a lot of time to recover if you're running two sessions a week you've got you know two or three days to recover between the sessions isn't great and then you've got a long run as well so the main premise of the book is keeping you fresh in your running, running quality but keeping you fresh and so when you do go and run a race you're not fatigued from running lots of ploddy mileage, you're not worn out from doing lots of all out hard interval sessions and you've got that reactivity in your muscles and you've activated your fast twitch muscles more. Now when you're running lots of slow paces you're not activating your fast twitch muscles, you're just just running at the same pace all the time, so your body's not getting used to that differenti differentiation in the pace. And actually I think that's what's helped me be able to run more volume, like the 100 mile weeks that I was running, I wasn't getting injured because I was running, I was feeling fresher because I was running faster, but not all out speed sessions, I you know, rarely ran all out speed sessions. Um, yeah, Klaus Lock in the book does say once a week running aerobic speeds and aerobic speed sessions, but I didn't much. I do feel like that helped me just not get injured, uh, feel fresher, and be able to put in more mileage. I also think that as we get older, this kind of approach works really well because we're not doing so many miles, we're not really grinding our bodies down using this approach. Um, and I think you can get more out of yourself, you can get more out of the time you've got and you're giving yourself more time to recover by using the easy interval method. Like I say, I took bits out of the book that I wanted to take out, the bits that I enjoyed and used them in my own running and I think that's what's helped me. I'm not saying you should go and read this book and follow it to the letter. If you want to, great. If you, if that's, if that, you think that will work for you, then brilliant. But I think taking bits and adapting it to how you enjoy running the time you've got will really work and it's definitely really worked well for me. I've read quite a few books and this one just really resonated with me um, and the way I like to run and the way that I like to run fast paces as well and I don't like to run lots of slow ploddy paces and seeing the results that the author got and, and the results that a lot of the people in the book have got made me realise okay I can implement some of this into my running and get results from it. So I definitely recommend getting the book if you're interested in, in improving your running or if you're just interested in learning a bit more about different techniques in running. Um, I've included a link below in the description to the book if you want to go, I think it's on Amazon if you want to go and just and order it. And yeah let me know in the comments if um, 
you, you agree with some of the things the book said, if you've, if you've read the book, if you've tried it, and any other books you've read that, that are similar to this that you think are interesting that I can read and review in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much.